everyone. Welcome to American Legion Post 87 here in, right in the main part of Woodbridge. We're here today to give this wonderful gentleman who served in the United States Army in World War II a quilt of honor, which he more than deserves. So thank you all for coming. And at this time, I'd like to turn everything over to our mayor, John McCormick. Thank you very much, Mike. It's a great pleasure to be here at the uh, Post, the Post 87 of the American Legion of Woodbridge. Uh, this is a great cause. This is a fantastic man who I've known for a long time, Stu Brandau. Uh, he has been involved in just about every group um, imaginable. When they play the five songs at different events, Stu stands three different times. He stands with the Army, he stands with the Air Force, and he stands with the Marines, right? He's not in the Navy, right, Sean? What happened? Uh, wait, uh, we'll, we'll keep trying. Yeah. So Stu, <laughs> Stu is, uh, <laughs> there's still a chance. Uh, uh, Stu is 97? Not yet. Not yet 97, I'm sorry. You should know that. <laughs> I know you, we have the same birthday, that's how I know, but I thought you're, you're 96 still. All right, and he is just a wonderful person. Um, he's had a couple of health issues uh, lately, and when he's down in the place in South Amboy, the rehab facility, I think he has more visitors than anybody else who goes there. Uh, so he's a very deserving person for this uh, code of valor. Uh, the, 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 let, I'll let Leonard explain it, but going back a few weeks now, between Nancy Colin and saying she knew about this case, and Rich, of course, Rich Lorenzen, which is Lenore's son-in-law, he's our tax collector friend of mine since we were kids, his wife Chris, uh, is involved and they called me, Nancy called me, everybody said what do we do, we have this honor and I think everybody said it should go to Stu Brandau because of his uh, commitment to the, the veterans causes and his involvement and his hero heroism, heroism uh, along the line. So let me turn it over to Lenore Ollenbach mm -hmm. and ask you to explain what this all means and how you got involved maybe with the organization and anything else you want to talk about. Can I take my mask off? Sure, sure. <laughs> Hi, uh, I've been quilting for, oh gosh, a lot of years. Uh, my first quilt I made in 76 for the bicentennial. Um, most of the quilts went, my family, you know, the kids from crib to marriage. Uh, when I got their big bed, they had to have a big quilt and so on. I make, I don't know, probably hundreds of them. This is my 16th quilt of valor which is my passion um, for our veterans. And um, I've done Korean, this is my first World War II. Most of them are Korean and Vietnam, and uh, one was for Afghanistan. Uh, Quilts of Valor was started by some woman whose son, you know, was in the service, and she made a quilt to comfort him. And uh, that's what started the organization. Uh, it's all volunteer. Uh, from beginning to end. Uh, I was involved with a guild where we uh, make blocks and then put a quilt together and wait for somebody to get nominated. But I've been doing this on my own for probably the last six quilts where I just, uh, people that I know personally. Um, so that's it. So today we're going to uh, honor Stu, which was very nice to meet. I have to read my little blurb here. <clears throat> it is my honor to award Stu with this Quilt of Valor on behalf of the Quilt of Valor Foundation. Today we hope to bring you honor and comfort. We may never know the depth of your sacrifices to protect and defend the United States of America. As a gesture of gratitude from a grateful nation, we ask you to please come forward and accept this Quilt of Valor. The mayor is going to help me. Just tell me what to do. Just we're going to take that. We're going to take that in case. All right. You want to fold it? Unfold it. Still. for 
arm. It can't be too small, too big. Once I made a quilt, they sent it back. I had to take the border off because it was too big. So, but this, this, one this is a serious quilt. This is heavy. Yeah, it's <laughs> heavy. Hurry up. You're going to be warm in there still. <laughs> so, well, well, and there's also a label on the back. Um, you guys. Thank you very much. No, thank you, man. Still so grab the mic. Grab the mic. Come on over. How do you want it, honey? Just a great. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is called the Valor thing. I'll hold it for you, Stu. What do you want to there say, honey? There you go. Oh, gosh. Oh, quality control. What the? On you. <laughs> well, you want me to say something? <laughs> Honest to God. You don't know how proud I am standing here. This is a wonderful, beautiful world. Woodbridge, best town around. You know, I've been here 70 years. And I'm glad I made my home here. My, my sister's birthday is even today. You know, I could say so much. They don't owe me anything. Not a thing. They made... <laughs> the friends I've made have got me to be 96 years old. I have so many beautiful non-friends, not non-blood families. I, you would believe, and the mayor knows I say this, I've had him come to meet him from Germany, Belgium, Kaiser, West Virginia. Kaiser, West Virginia is my second home. The mayor knows that also. I have so many friends down there. I did make a suggestion. I don't know if it'll ever come through. I wanted Kaiser, West Virginia, to be the sister of Woodbridge. And he sent wow. proclamations down to them. This year, I met a lot of the, the politicians down there, the mayor, the commissioners. I really get into it. And I would be the proudest man in the world. You would love Kaiser, West Virginia. I have as many friends down there almost as I have in Woodbridge. They are the nicest people. I could, I could say so much about a lot of people, and a lot of them are sitting right here in this room. Without them, I would be standing here today. I don't mind getting awards. But I think about the young man that's buried in Belgium. My, my brother, Teddy, 19 years old. He got killed in Korea. He shouldn't have never died. He was a, he was a cook. And they gave him a rifle and sent him to his death. He was missing quite a while. But it was a nice South American, South American, South Korean, happened to mention to the Americans that he buried these boys, the whole group, in his yard. We had a farm. They put two boys in one grave. We're lucky we got them back. I don't want to talk too much, but I have so much to say to you people. This is a wonderful, beautiful, beautiful town. I can mention so many people, but I don't want to because I don't want to leave anybody out. Mayor, you made me proud. Everybody's made me proud. Okay, Stu, I'm back here. You okay? 
Yeah, you we are. Come for you. Okay, the Quilts of Valor Foundation wishes to recognize you for your service to our nation. We consider it a privilege to honor you, so please accept this certificate as an expression of our gratitude. Oh. It's from the Quilts of Valor. Thanks, Stu, from the bottom of my heart for his service and dedication to our country. It was an honor to make this quilt for you. May it comfort you and keep you warm. I am internally grateful. Thank you again. And I am internally grateful to you. And now if I could ask uh, Councilwoman Nancy Drum, who was Stu's council person, if she'd okay. say a few words. Okay. Congratulations, Stu. Well deserved. Lenore, Chris, and Rich. Maybe that's why that happened. I don't know. Lorenzen for um, offering this nomination to one of our very own. Congratulations. Well deserved, Lenore. You're amazing. Thank you for bringing the Quilts of Valor to Woodbridge. And uh, just so that you know, there are, there are applications. You can be nominated for a quilt as well. And have to have been in a comfort, you know. Correct. And to all the brave men and women that are sitting here today, thank you very much for all of your services and your sacrifice. I would really like to meet the other group, the other members of your group. I don't even know this. If possible, maybe you can. Uh, I was going to say, usually I tell all the veterans to stand, but I think the whole group <laughs> If I could uh, introduce some other people, we have uh, John Everhart, who runs our Veterans Alliance. He used to run our rec department. I've known him since I was a kid in the Boy Scouts and Troop 49. And he's done a terrific job with the veterans. We have our Chief of Staff, Carol Ehrlich. We have our Administrator, Vito Simaluka. Communications Director, John Haggerty. IT Director, Brian Austin. I introduced Rich Lorenzen. He's our tax collector since the early 90s. We have Megan Kushba. Of, from the communication shop. We have Kelly Mitch from the communication shop. And uh, who else? Oh, Emil behind the camera. We have Emil Brandoffi. So we have a whole lot of people here from Town Hall. We have a whole lot of people here from Post 87. And Lenore, this is, this is really terrific. Your story about how you got involved in this group yeah. and what you do, look what you just did for this young man. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you, Lenore Ellenbeck. I'd like to salute everybody that's Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you all for coming out.